So, yeah, this is the NB2. Use that chip. Use that chip. Use another chip. Both amplifiers. Microcontroller. Power supply, 18 volt. Something, something. Probably just the audio input board. Drivers. Drivers. This pretty much proves that this is just a firmware revision for the generation two. Okay, so I quickly soldered up a USB PD controller. Um, and I'm just gonna jab the wires in there and see if the NV turns on. I am going to risk it. It's designed to supply power. They're, they don't really expect power to go back in the device. I mean, sometimes that does happen because of a charged capacitor, but there is probably a diode in there, but we are bypassing the diode. So the safer way would be to put the USB-C after the diode, but then you bypass the reverse polarity check. Well, again, I didn't really take a look into anything. I'm literally just gonna shove 20 volts down the 18 volt lane. It is a little bit over voltage, but it's from a power bank. I don't think it's going to explode anything. It'll probably trip the power bank. So let's see if this works. All right, as expected, uh, this power supply does not want to be backfed power. So it will just uh, short out, or not short out, uh, overload my power bank here. But if I connect it directly without the power bank, uh, the power supply, I mean, um, it works just fine, so it's playing right now. And I'm actually able to reach maximum volume without my power bank crapping out, which is great. So I just need to add a switch here from switch to AC to USB-C. I should be good there. So I'm an idiot and didn't realize how low my power bank was in terms of charge level. So I'll just use a, whatever this is. I think it's a third party aftermarket bell charger. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. 